Hey everyone, welcome back and let's continue where we last we left off with the sketchbooks. No, not you, not you. The third sketchbook I didn't manage to go through last time. Let's see what's in there. Alright, so let's do the sketchbook that we missed last time. And if I remember correctly, oh boy, there's a couple of... There you go. <laughs> I think I think this one was one of my first sketchbooks that I bought when I started working. So I thought, oh, let me do a self-portrait and write my name and whatnot. So yeah, this was in 2017. Uh, yeah, just a, a random sci-fi vehicle. I was exploring this one. And then, as always, we have our obligatory Star Wars drawing, this time a Star Destroyer, but I, it, it did mess up. This, I mean, it looks janky. The perspective is really not uh, good there. Let me fix it here, okay. Then just some random sketches. I think these might have been after um, I was looking at some reference for these. And then this is also when I decided, hey, let me get back into traditional stuff, like painting. And this was one of my first uh, watercolors. I was out on uh, Museumsplein in Amsterdam, and it was horrible. <laughs> really, I didn't know, like this was all going back all the way to the first and second and third uh, grades where I started watercolor, it, it feels the same. And then I decided, okay, let me, let me try it again. And I did another sketch. This was close to the opera. And this is the, the Blue Bridge in Amsterdam. I really love this area. I come here quite often. And I wanted to combine it a little bit with um, sci-fi because I like taking something that there is and just added some sci-fi thingies. But I think this was quite okay for, for coming, especially coming from this to this. I think it was a, a good step up. And then just some work stuff, random sketches, uh, some motorbikes because why not? You should always draw motorbikes. Uh, and also this apparently this was also a bit of a uh, travel sketchbook because I remember this was when I was with my dad in Paris and I asked him to just wait for like 20 minutes until I do a quick sketch of the Notre Dame and then he was walking around a little bit being bored while I was sketching this uh, this was a project that will pop back a little bit later on as well I so in the Netherlands we have these chip carts for train travel oh boy there we go. I, ho I hope you saw the, the Notre Dame before because that was quite high. So this is the Notre Dame. Uh, but yeah, so the, the, uh, we have the chip cards for train travel. We don't buy tickets. It's just like a, a plastic card, like your credit card or something. And you can charge it up and you just uh, put it to a thing that reads if you put money on it or not and takes off the necessary money. And sometimes there's a controller coming to check if you paid your ticket or not. And I thought, yeah, what if we uh, replace that controller with sort of like a flying drone? And these were exploratory sketches of that. And I was trying to see, okay, how can I make the blades protected? So basically the users protected from the blades and, and sort of like a clap out mechanism. So it, so it can, uh, you can just push your card there and read it. But yeah, this will come back a little bit later. Some studies. Yeah, nicely, nicely covered. No, no, no YouTube problems here. Also, some feedback points that I didn't like there. Then just some more industrial design stuff. So th this will be an Inktober sketchbook as well, but there's also a lot of industrial design stuff, as you can see, just exploring all sort of uh, thingies here. I, I still like this one. I think it is a quite a cool little spaceship. And uh, this was. This is a tree in um, Wondel, Wondel Park, yeah, the big park in Amsterdam. And yeah, I was sometimes I just I like going out to Wondel Park and just sketch whatever I find there. This was a cafe that I drew a couple of times, like two years in a row, in November or October both times. Uh, really, really lovely little area, and I enjoy just sitting there. And it's also good because sometimes I get a free beer or free coke when I show the this stuff. Uh, this is another tower in uh, Amsterdam, the one close to the, the Blumenmarkt. And again, I just added some sci-fi stuff to it because why not just make it a bit more interesting. Um, I think this was for a uh, competition? Or, no, it, it was just so, so, some uh, weekly design challenge on, um, on Instagram. Some sort of a cooling backpack. 
Yeah, it was a nice little sketch. And I did. I remember doing this outside in Bumble Park while chilling as well, so quite cool. Then this was a water dispenser, like a fire, fire extinguisher gun, exactly. That's, that's what it was, I remember now. Uh, train sketches in this time, uh, I wasn't commuting that much, but whenever I was on a, on a metro, I just uh, whipped it out and I was drawing people. I like this Spider-Man. I don't remember when I was drawing this, but it's quite cool because it's like a robot with, uh, with all the things. I did, did like this. And then again, some, uh, some more industrial design stuff there. Let me center this a little bit. Uh, again, this was in a train station and just people standing and waiting on, on, on trains plus some uh, furniture ideas here and there. I think this later or something like this, I turned into a digital version. Uh, yeah, this is not such a good sketch. I know where this is, but I don't know how to describe it. It was it was a less inspired outdoor urban sketch. This was cool because um, I just went out into the city uh, to sketch, and it started raining. And since I I, I just I, I think I had these blue um, markers with me, and. I decided to do this sort of effect, which I think it goes quite well with the rain because it looks like everything is wet and you have a little bit of uh, reflection there. So I, I like this quite a bit. And then this is Dam Square in Amsterdam. If you've been there, you, you probably know. And again, <laughs> just added two spaces. <laughs> like it, 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 it would work perfectly without the spaceships, but yeah, I, I needed to add something because I don't know why. And then back to industrial design sketches, just a lot, lot of tables, like, serving things as well where you could uh, keep some drinks on and whatnot. Uh, I think this was also a competition, some sort of design competition, maybe maybe we, we, weekly design challenge, something else. It was just a, a sofa chair. This is more about sketching style, I guess, like show off your own style than anything else. Uh, this was, I think this side was pre-done with pencil, this side was purely done with, uh, with uh, pen. Uh, and sometimes I jump back and forth in these because I'm pretty sure this was a restaurant in Budapest when I visited with some friends and this is Amsterdam, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, because I know, I know that thing. And then again, because it's not enough to draw Amsterdam, I needed to do sci-fi horror so we have this sort of black sludge coming out. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I thought it was funny. Uh, this is back in uh, Budapest. This is a parliament building in Budapest with the same uh, blue thing. I think it was it cold and I was rushing. No, it wasn't. But it, it was. Yeah, I was there with friends, so I was a little bit rushing because I didn't want them to be way too bored while I was drawing this. But uh, this was quite fun. Quite quite a nice architectural building. And this was in Bristol. I remember I visited some friends that uh, had a baby not so long time ago and we just wanted to say hi and we, we went around in the, in the city so yeah this, this this actually came along with me quite off quite a lot yeah this was the baby and this is when i realized that drawing babies is very hard also like I, i'm not good at drawing humans in general but then drawing babies apparently is even harder for me <laughs> uh still in bristol i remember i don't know who it was but i'm following somebody on instagram who does car sketches when they're uh, in coffee shops and they just put a cup of dots. So, so I thought like, okay, let me draw this. And I just, I, we were having a coffee at, at the coffee place. And I just dipped my finger in the last droplets of coffee that were in my, in my cup. And I just made this. It's, it's, it's okay. I think if I would have had a brush with me, it would have been a nicer outcome. But even like this, I'm like, okay, it's, it's interesting. And then industrial design stuff. And then this was, we had another we were sitting at another place in, in Bristol and I was just uh, sketching. I really enjoy urban urban sketching if the weather is nice and you're out with friends. And this is a pepper and salt mill. I think like you can see here, I was working out the ideas, what I want to do and I just wanted the two together and a little bit of see-throughness. Uh, yeah, and here we return to the, <laughs> to the card reader on the train. Um, yeah, I think I dropped the idea in the end. I just, I just didn't like the the, um, the blades were too exposed in these ones, and I think the previous one was actually better. They were just too big. Like I, I, this would need to be relatively small. And then more industrial design stuff, just the, the typical household items, kitchen kitchen items here. Continuing with that, like this this is here preparation for 
um, Inktober this year. And so this was 2017, I think, or 18, and uh, I think 17. Uh, this was a meetup with some drawing people, I think. Uh, and then here I started doing some sketches of drills that on the other page, yeah, you have the industrial design type, nicely col colored drill thing. And then here is where Inktober starts. And I don't remember the prompts. I, I, I was thinking we would look them up, but no, it's, it's fine. Uh, so this, this was the same adventure from, from the previous year that, that I started with. But this time what I did, uh, every day I took the prompt and I tried to make a story, like a cohesive story. So he, he arrived and there was to this kingdom, underwater kingdom, because he knew the, the princess or something. And then the people had a big fight and he just arrived to the scene. And the fight got worse and worse and people started actually murderizing each other. And I was like, this, this, this is also funny because in the beginning of Inktober, like I, I'm always super excited and I put all this effort in. Like you can, you can see the facial expressions on these people. Like I was looking at reference, making sure that I had really cool facial expressions. And here as well, like the guy is angry. And I think I took a picture of myself and I, I was just trying to, to use that as ref. So I was like really trying to put in a lot of effort. And I really, this was really fun. Uh, and then, yeah, so everything got out of hand. So they're escaping now. And then just some sort of underwater sort of, I think it was mazes or pipes. I, I don't know what, what the keyword was, but either way, they're, they're running away. And then they, they got to the, to the underwater spaceship facility. And then she shows that, hey, that's, that's my spaceship. We can use that one to uh, run away. And then I think he made some very stupid joke, like the, the, the prompt, I, I didn't come up with anything better, so I just, I just made a very stupid joke out of it, and then she's like, oh my god, facepalm, like that, that's a horrible joke. And then she's uh, sort of getting naked. I feel like this day, I it like compared this to this one, like I was, I, I didn't have time, or I, I don't know what, what was going on here. I, <laughs> I was working full time every day, so like these were done late nights, so quite, quite a lot of effort. And then as they were going onto the ship, like that's him and that's the lady, somebody was looking at them from above. So it was, ooh, ominous, who is who's this person who's looking at them? And then he's he's kicking off people, trying to trying to save the ship himself, but they captured the princess. And he, he has to leave without the princess. And he actually, because our hero is not just a goody goody, he's more of an Indiana Jones. Also, like, not anti-hero, but uh, selfish. So he goes away, and then I like this scene also. I remember this a little bit from Star Wars Episode One, where there's always a bigger fish eating a big fish, and then he's escaping underwater. And then this is uh, a long, quite a bit later. And I really, really like this one, just because if you, you, you might recognize it, it's, it's Sid Mead drew basically something like this, where there's there's a, a big, I think it was horse or dog race, like a big mechanical dog race. And I, I absolutely love that. And I just wanted to pay homage to him because I'm, I'm the biggest Sid Mead fan. And yeah, he's just drinking away his sorrow. Like he remembers that he left the princess behind and you can see how many little shot glasses he has there. But yeah, he's not having a good time. He's just trying to drink away his sorrow. And I think one thing that's important that I forgot that there's, there's this bag here that he took from the princess last time. And then um, these uh, thug sort of guys show up, they push everybody aside and then, and then some ominous figures are following them. Let me see if this is, yeah. And here we can see the same guy. So th this, this is the crooked guy who was watching them, like lead leading the, this ominous whoever's coming to our, our main protagonist who is now surrounded by mercenaries who all have guns and he's trying, he's just doing his macho bravado thing, just cheersing, not really giving a hoot who's coming and what they want. And then they of course like they show, they, they show their, their, their power and just like, hey, give us the thing, whatever the thing was. And then the lady comes in, well, not the lady, the, whoever this is. It, is. it is sort of a gangster lady who wanted this thing that they stole from whatever that, that was. I, I, but this was the same bag that, that he had from the princess. And she, she shows herself and she gets out and she, she thanks him for this because whatever this was in there and she, she needed it. 
and then she walks out bye bye and so these were all prompts like every day like I, it was some sort of prompt and I think uh, he's looking at her flying off or something anyways it was just a, the cityscape looking over the uh, she going off if I remember correctly and then he's going down or was it was it him escaping it was either him escaping or something like that but he, he runs down the sewers actually I like this it's it's a bit boring but it was fun drawing it and they are setting up a sort of a barricade because they want to get him they, they uh, they're talking to each other set up barricades let's get him but then he comes out of the sewers in a totally different place somewhere nature and then I think here I, I, I didn't have anything better it was I don't know what what the prompt was but I thought okay let's just turn it into an advertisement in the middle of the story so it's just as as reduce advertisement and then we continue with our story so he gets to this old guy who tells him some important uh, information how he can get to the lady who stole his thing and then he takes the ship from there going towards an island and then almost uh, murdering something I, I don't know I was writing the, the, sorry I, I was doing this together with a friend and he was also doing some of the writing so that's why I don't remember all the details exactly I do like the moon here though I think uh, that, that's that's oh, that looks cool and then he has to climb up some walls to get to the to the person's did I did I miss th something so I know that he's going towards an island where there's a castle and then at night and he's climbing up the wall okay and then he snuck into uh, the castle but he sort of falls through there and then he continues his way throughout oh, they, they, I, li I like this throughout the um, ducts and then we see again this guy the, 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 this, this crooked back guy talking to someone he's like oh wait who, who, who is this guy what's going on and then he sneaks into the, the I think the bedroom of that lady where all the money is she's a gangster lady but also this backpack well not backpack just what is this I don't know what's it called anyways he, he's super happy grabs it and he runs away with it and then the the door opens you know like I was trying to, to slowly go in with the camera and then we see that this is actually just a fat suit with with a mask and it's actually our, our lady friend who just wanted to get this medal back from from the guy see she's like happy she's looking at the medal and then she puts it under the bed and she falls back asleep and that was it that was that was the October story super interesting right guys great great sketchbook <laughs> great, great sketchbook there anyways going with one more time we return to the to the OV chip card reader and I was also just drawing some trains to, to fill the page a little bit and uh, that is it <laughs> that, that was it for uh, this sketchbook and that was it for this year's last video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you had a good time with it but most importantly I want to wish everybody happy holidays or happy just break whatever you're taking and also a happy new year and yeah, see you guys early next year, but until then, don't stop drawing. Bye-bye.